Rafael Nadal versus Carlos Alcaraz is the second semi-final for the men at Indian Wells for 2022. And both guys have been very impressive to get to this stage. Alcaraz started the tournament as the 19th seed and got a bye in the first round. His second round opponent was the local hope McDonald and he dismissed him in straight sets, 6-3, 6-3. His third round opponent was 15th seed and Spanish veteran Batista Agu. And this was one of the most impressive performances from Alcaraz for the week. Only dropping a few games in straight sets, winning at 6-2 and 6-love. In the fourth round, he'd face the number 26 seed Monfils, who just came off beating the number one seed Medvedev in the previous round. And after an entertaining first set that was very close, Alcaraz got through in straight sets 7-5, 6-1. In his quarterfinal matchup, he'd take on the defending champion, the number 12 seed Cam Norrie. And although Norrie had had a very impressive week himself, Alcaraz did not seem bothered taking out the champ 6-4, 6-3 to advance to the semis. Rafa Nadal entered the tournament as the number four seed and on a 15-match win streak and got a bye in the first round. His second round opponent was Seb Korda, the American. And after taking the first set, he was forced to play three and would have to fight in the third set to come back from 5-2 down, but he eventually prevailed 6-2, 1-6, 7-6. His third round opponent was the 27 seed Dan Evans. And after a close first set where Evans had the lead, it was Rafa to come back again, winning in straight sets 7-5, 6-3. In his fourth round match, he'd take on the big serving American, Riley Opelka, the number 17 seed. And as you'd guess, Opelka playing a couple of tie breaks, but Rafa getting the best of him, winning both the tie breaks, 7-6, 7-6. His quarterfinal meeting was against the wild card Nick Kyrgios, who he'd had some epic clashes with in the past, and this was no exception. This match lived up to the hype, with all the drama you expect from a Kyrgios-Nadal matchup, but it was Rafa who got the win in the end, 7-6, 5-7, 6-4 to advance to the semi-finals. These two have only played the one time before. That was last year in Madrid, and Rafa got the win pretty easily. So it wasn't quite the matchup that was built up to be with the new generation Spaniard against the veteran Spaniard or the GOAT Spaniard. It wasn't quite that matchup, but this one feels a little bit different being on a hard court. If Alcaraz is going to win, he needs to be super aggressive early, and he kind of needs Rafa to play bad because usually when Rafa's playing his best, not many players outside of the greatest of all time, Djokovic and Federer, can beat him at his best. If Nadal's going to win, he's going to play better than he has. He played okay against Kyrgios, but he played the big points the best and kept his cool when he needed to, when Kyrgios did have a bit of a meltdown. So he's going to have to absorb the power of Alcarez, but also play a lot better than he has for the rest of the week. He's probably feeling tired. The foot's probably hurting, but we'll see if he can handle the heat from Alcarez. This is a very interesting matchup, and it's very hyped on social media, as it should be. But I think the experience of Rafa is going to win this one. I'm going to go with Rafa in straight sets. I think Alcarez is about 12 months away from really testing Rafa in a matchup, but it's not quite yet there. I think it's going to be close, but I think it's going to be Rafa in straight. But let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this one?